Walt Disney World is one of the most popular vacation destinations in the world, and it's not hard to see why. This is a gigantic resort in Orlando, Florida featuring all sorts of amenities, two wonderful water parks, and most notably, four immersive theme parks. Disney is famous for their storytelling and incredible detail, and this directly translates to many of their attractions. So in this video, I will rank the resort's top 25 rides. Before starting the countdown, a few things I want to clarify. First, this video will only focus on the theme parks. If you're interested in what the resort's best water slides are, I have an entirely separate video already published on the channel. There are two standout slides at the resort. Crush and Gusher at Typhoon Lagoon is a trio of water coasters featuring some fun airtime pops and quick uphill ascents. Then Summit Plummet at Blizzard Beach may be the scariest ride at the entire resort, as this is one of the world's tallest body slides. Second, this video will only include rides. There are a lot of great shows at the resort, most notably Fantasmic at Disney's Hollywood Studios, the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular, also at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Festival of the Lion King at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and Happily Ever After at Magic Kingdom. It's difficult to compare these shows with rides, especially when you have so many of them offered. Then I also want to give some honorable mentions to some high-profile rides that just barely missed the list. Kali River Rapids at Disney's Animal Kingdom is a potentially soaking water ride with a big drop at the end, and it also has great landscaping. It is just on the shorter side. Star Tours is a turbulent motion simulator through iconic moments in the Star Wars films. It is fun, but I tend to prefer the dark rides with physical sets. Mission Space is an extremely forceful and dizzying simulator offering a taste of space travel, but it just missed the list because the visual quality is not the best in my opinion. Journey into Imagination is a fun dark ride starring Figment. This ride has undergone many changes over the years, but Figment always leaves a big goofy smile on my face with his antics. Lastly, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is arguably the most popular ride at the Magic Kingdom, but this roller coaster just missed the list. It offers a smidge of thrills with the swinging cars, and the dark ride bit through the mine is well themed, but I prefer the other main coasters at the resort. Starting off the list at number 25 is Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid at Magic Kingdom. This is a well-themed dark ride retelling the events of the film. The sets are fully fleshed out with some impressive animatronics. And most importantly, the ride features all the famous music from the award-winning movie. The one con with this one is that it does use an Omnimover ride system, and you routinely be stopped at points to help others board, which disrupts the overall auditory experience. Number 24, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin at Magic Kingdom. This is a shooting dark ride where guests fire at targets in these large, expansive environments. There are countless targets to hit, including some high-value ones that make it easy to max out your score. The guns are mounted, though, which can make it tricky to hit some of them, but thankfully, there is a joystick to spin the vehicles. Number 23, Soarin' at Epcot. This flying theater is a scenic aerial tour of famous landmarks. The visuals are large and crisp. There are several great sequences such as in the Schwanstein Castle and later the Eiffel Tower, and the sights are paired with a lovely soundtrack that generates all the feels. Number 22, Rock and Roller Coaster at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This Vacoma launch coaster is the most intense coaster at the resort. It starts off with a solid LSM launch, then the rest of the layout takes place in the dark. There are three disorienting inversions including a forceful sea serpent roll at the start. Many of the turns feel like filler though, but the sense of speed is helped by some 2D cutouts that you pass over, under, and through. And the ride does feature a fun story where you're racing to an Aerosmith concert, and the experience is complete with the band appearing in the pre-show, and you also have onboard audio featuring some of their most iconic songs. Number 21, Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This motion simulator feels like a giant video game, and a really good one too. Groups of six work together to secure coaxium. Two people are pilots, and this is the best role. You have the most control as you directly steer the ship. Gunner is also really enjoyable in manual mode, as you fire lasers at spaceships on screen. 
Engineer is really dull though, as you just hit buttons as they illuminate, so try to avoid this role if possible. Number 20, Slinky Dog Dash at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This mock multi-launch coaster is mild in terms of thrills. You only get some faint airtime in the rear rows and a pinch of force on the turns, but it is a visually stunning coaster. The layout winds its way through Toy Story Land, and you pass some large theming elements. I particularly love the theatric launch sequence of the spinners, rings, and audio. These visuals keep the ride exciting start to finish, even if the individual elements are not too wild. Now I admittedly may be placing this higher than it should, but Slinky Dog is one of my favorite characters so I am biased. Number 19, Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom. This atmospheric dark ride is a classic. It is spooky without having any jump scares. Then the ride gets better as it goes. It starts off a bit slow, but the second half features the iconic ballroom scene with these Pepper's Ghosts effects. Then the finale through the graveyard has ghosts and ghouls in every direction, all to the great Grim Grinning Ghost song. Number 18, Jungle Cruise at Magic Kingdom. This is probably the funniest ride at the resort. This is a safari boat ride centered around the deadpan and corny humor of your tour guide. Some jokes are consistent ride to ride, but you'll also get some unique ones here and there. The visuals are well done too. The lush landscaping makes it feel like you're in the jungle. Then there are nice sets with all sorts of animal animatronics, many of which are large in scale. Number 17, Big Thunder Mountain at Magic Kingdom. This is a mine train themed roller coaster that winds its way through a beautiful rocky mountain. This conceals the layout and causes some thrilling near misses. Make sure to ride in the back car for the best experience. Several turns and helixes offer solid laterals, especially because there are no seat dividers, so you can slide across the entire row. Then there are some quick dips giving solid pops of airtime. The finale is not too wild on this one, but I love the elements in the first two thirds. Number 16, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure at Epcot. This trackless dark ride makes you feel as small as a mouse. Most of this is done through these giant video screens, but there are some large physical props in between the show scenes as well. I wish there were some animatronics and physical show scenes, but the visuals are well done nonetheless. The screens are crisp and chaotic, perfectly relaying the dangers a rat faces on a daily basis, and the motion is perfectly synchronized to further sell the effects. Number 15, Pirates of the Caribbean at Magic Kingdom. This is one of the most elaborate dark rides out there. The sets are gigantic in scale, loaded with animatronics. You will need multiple rides to take everything in. This is particularly true during the bustling town scenes. Then you have other iconic scenes such as the giant pirate ship battle and the journey through the prison. And for variety, the ride also throws in a fun little drop at the very start. Number 14, Dinosaur at Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is a rambunctious dark ride that does a lot of things well. The ride system feels like a motion simulator on a track, so it's a dynamic experience that wildly chucks you about. And you encounter a handful of large and frightening dinosaurs along the way. These look great. But there are chunks of the attraction that are dark and or missing visuals entirely. If the experience had no dead space, this would have easily cracked the top 10. Number 13, Frozen Ever After at Epcot. This boat ride is amazing. The ride features some of Disney's best animatronics ever. The amount of detail and motion is impressive, particularly whenever you see Olaf. Then the ride features all the famous songs from the film, with the backward sequence during Let It Go standing out in particular. Then the ride throws in some small drops for good measure. The final one is especially sweet because it takes place as a giant snowman animatronic attacks you. Number 12, Expedition Everest at Disney's Animal Kingdom. This Vacoma roller coaster takes place in and around a giant mountain. It creates some awesome sight lines on and off ride. Then you also come face to face with a Yeti later in the ride as well. While it no longer moves, it still looks stunning. Then the coaster elements are enjoyable as well. The largest drop offers a smidge of airtime in the back row. Then the positive forces the ride dishes out are impressive. You get pretty good G's in that outwards helix, 
but the star has to be the enclosed backwards helix. This element is shockingly intense and dizzying. Number 11, Tron Light Cycle Run at Magic Kingdom. This roller coaster is a spectacle. The canopy looks amazing, particularly at night, and the indoor section is stylized with these bright blue lights. The motorbike seating makes the ride unique, and it also amplifies the speed as you whiz through the grid. There are several brake runs that do noticeably take away the speed, but that indoor park compensates with all sorts of visuals and the amazing musical score from Daft Punk. The thrills come from the start when you have a punchy launch, and that speedy turnaround that immediately follows. Number 10, Kilimanjaro Safaris at Disney's Animal Kingdom. This 20 minute safari is an incredible experience. You pass countless animals in these expansive habitats. You get so close to many of them, and some will walk right in front of your vehicle as well, most commonly the giraffes. One of the best parts about this attraction is that no two rides will ever be the same. There's a lot of re-ride value trying this at different points of the day and in different weather conditions. It impacts how active certain animals are. Number 9, Test Track at Epcot. This is a creative dark ride blending theming and thrills. The indoor section is highly stylized with a similar aesthetic to Tron, but you pass a series of car tests. Some of them offer thrills. The braking sequence has some acceleration similar to a coaster launch. The handling section offers some laterals on the turns, and the final outdoor sequence has you zipping around turns and down straightaways at speeds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Number 8, Toy Story Mania at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This interactive shooting dark ride is addictive. It is a 3D screen-based shooter, but the mechanics are fantastic. You have these pop guns to fire targets, and I like how you have different games along the way, whether it be a balloon popping game, ring toss, or an old-fashioned western shootout. This gives you different visuals. I love the quantity of targets and how each game has hidden targets you can unlock. It adds so much re-ride value to beat your prior score. Number 7, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is a trackless dark ride themed to the chain's classic characters. I cannot believe it took this long for Mickey to get his very own ride, but it was well worth it. The unique visual style immerses you in the cartoon. Most rooms have these giant screens in the walls, combined with just enough physical props to sell the effects. Then the visuals are paired with some nice motion effects that add a degree of chaos to the attraction. Number 6. Avatar Flight of Passage at Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is a cross between a flying theater and a more aggressive motion simulator, and it is such an immersive experience between the music and visuals. The film is detailed and it beautifully brings Pandora to life. Then the experience is just enough thrills to keep you on your toes. Some of those dives sneak up on you, and they can induce a free-falling sensation. Number 5, Space Mountain at Magic Kingdom. This indoor coaster has modest stats, but it delivers a genuinely wild ride. The darkened environment is a big factor, as it hides the layout and enhances the speed. The visuals I am showing on screen are during the Christmas party when they have multicolored lighting effects on the interior, but usually the rise in near total darkness but the ride also is a quartet of great drops, all of which are sharp and offer some really good airtime. Then the turns are quick and offer lateral jolts as well. Then the ride's undeniably janky, but the extremely well-padded trains prevent any discomfort. Number 4, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot. This is an outstanding experience blending theming and thrills. You have a series of pre-shows at the start quite literally teleporting you into the Marvel Universe. Then you have an extremely long coaster that is engaging start to finish. The initial launch is solid. Then the main layout is a convoluted mess of track. You have some dips offering bursts of airtime and turns offering solid Gs. Not only that, but this ride uses a prototype ride system from Vacoma where the vehicles can rotate to enhance specific elements and visuals. On that note, you have a star field effect throughout, along with large video screens and a physical prop or two to advance the story. Then the ride has onboard audio playing a series of songs that add to the mayhem. Number 3, 
Twilight Zone Tower of Terror at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is a strong case as the world's best drop tower. Unlike most that feature just one drop, this one is a series of rapid ascents and descents, all of which generate copious amounts of airtime, especially because you have just a seatbelt. And this is also paired with an incredible story. The haunted hotel vibe is executed flawlessly in both the pre-show and during the dark ride scenes at the very start. Number 2. Splash Mountain at Magic Kingdom This log flume was absolute perfection. It was a beautiful experience. The outdoor scenes were well landscaped as you floated around Chickapin Hill. The indoor portions had all sorts of animatronics. And the musical score was perfect. Then the theming was paired with an exciting drop sequence, including the picturesque final plunge at the end. This ride in its current form closed in January of 2023, but it is being reimagined as Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The same great drops will exist, but the theming is being completely redone. I've heard the theming benchmark is frozen ever after, so if that quality is put in Splash Mountain, it should be just as good bare minimum. And coming in number one is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is the world's greatest dark ride and a true masterpiece in terms of storytelling. The pre-boarding experience includes multiple pre-shows with characters from the latest trilogy of films. Then the main experience is a trackless dark ride through these elaborate sets. You have grand set pieces like the AT-ATs, several advanced animatronics, good use of screens, and a thrilling finale I don't want to spoil here. All of this makes it a memorable experience unlike anything else out there. So those are the top 25 rides at the Walt Disney World Resort. What are your favorite rides here? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.